Hi, I can move and Brandon can't. Welcome to Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Spider-Man 2 Talk. Uh, it's been, what, two or three weeks since the game was released? Okay, I think three well, let's weeks. run it back. I'm going to start this whole video off with I'm going to spoil the entire game. So if you don't want that yeah, to this be is here, leave now. Full spoilers. I'm literally going to spoil every single aspect of this game, but we're going to talk about what we think is going on in this universe, why this is one of the best Venom stories that I personally believe has ever been told, and where they can go from here in the DLC and future games. Take it away, Brandon. I'm Kyle, by the way. And I'm Brandon. Take it away, Brandon. <laughs> um, so, uh, overall, mm -hmm. love the game. Yes. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that it was not long enough, but I'll be completely honest with you. You could have made that game any length, and I feel like it wouldn't have been long enough. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed playing that beginning to end. Mm -hmm. um, I took my time with it. Uh, but like I said, if you would have added 10 more hours of gameplay, mm -hmm. I would have finished it and been like, that's it. Yeah. Like I loved it. Yeah. Um, I thought they really upgraded the distance and just the, the traveling with the web slinging and the gliding. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure how I felt about that at first, but once I got used to it, mm -hmm. I was like, this is fucking awesome and just all of the different traversal items right like you got the like the venom dash or like the, to add like the little boost yeah. when you go and yeah. then the one that goes up and then like i've seen crazy videos of people breaking that system dude like that <laughs> yeah. okay so um one of the moves i like the most is the sharp turn when you're webbing mm -hmm. and somebody showed online that if you can time it right you can actually do that on like poles and stuff no. so you can launch yourself and that circle going forward. Amazing. Um, yeah, thought all that was cool. Um, gameplay wasn't much different. I did watch a video with the creators mm -hmm. saying that like they unintentionally backed off of stealth, mm -hmm. um, which checks out. I felt like it was not as stealthy as the oh, first Oh yeah, no, game. I didn't do anything stealthy. Oh no, I, I tried a few points here and there, but nine times out of 10, I just jumped in and started beating the shit I out I think of the only thing that I did in stealth was the Mary Jane section at Craven, and that's it. Oh, man. I that was, that was the only part of the game that I was like, man, this is... I got to get through this. Bro, the she, Mary Jane but stuff. she's also more OP than she's ever Oh, 100%. Been. No, she's, I'm like, why she is she is... just tasing this guy oh, and no. he's dead all of a sudden? Well, she, <laughs> well, she does mention briefly, she's like, oh, that training Sable gave me. And I was like, okay, that right. checks out. Because it was like, at no point has Mary Jane... In that game struck me as like i'm gonna just fucking tase this guy <laughs> <in the throat." laughs> and she does and she does um the added symbiote stuff was really cool Got all right so before we go even symbiotes stuff. let's go the last hunt let's cover the craven story up to where we get to symbiotes because you've got a lot that goes on there so when we <laughs> when we first briefly spoke about this yes um i had played a little bit mm -hmm. and you had not started it really Correct. yet and you said um sinister six game mm -hmm. things like that now i'm sitting there mm -hmm. with a confirmed two people dead at that point right and i was just like don't <laughs> do anything to spoil this for kyle Keep your face no. normal yep. because, like, I was it, early on. You're like, oh, they're not, they're not, we're not getting these Spider-Man villains. And then when you get to the uh, confrontation with Craven, mm. when you get the suit, there's like six more people confirmed dead. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the best part about Which is that, crazy. what a crazy no, decision! It was, it was wild that they went that route. But I think the other like wild part about craven coming in is like just taking out all of these villains That's right the, like that was his so goal, shocker's right? gone shocker uh, vulture vulture scorpion scorpion rhino. scorpion we see on camera yeah do we see rhino do they kill rhino so the only reason i know that rhino is potentially a thing is because of people that have broken into the dlc areas and there's a whole throne of like all of their heads okay well that sucks yeah um but yeah i mean they get rid of so many people mm -hmm. so quick and it and also shows you that the like, fact that i brought up agent venom and you knew for a fact that there was an agent no no no, venom no, no, no. i wasn't there i wasn't there yet okay i, wasn't there yet. I was about to say um, bro. i was not there yet um <laughs> harry's symbiote costume initially 
definitely reflects Agent Venom. Mm -hmm. Whether or not we'll see Harry as Venom again, they could do Flash Thompson right. coming back from the military, things like like they open a lot of stuff up up for that. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought the whole thing with Craven, like those missions were fun. Mm -hmm. um, they were fun fights. They were fun cutscenes and everything. And when you finally get to face him off, mm -hmm. realizing that you're like not even halfway through the game yet, I yeah. was like oh shit like this is gonna be a lot yeah and i think craven was an awesome villain and mm -hmm. boss so i was sitting there with a buddy of mine while we were playing right and he had a copy of the game at his house and like i'm playing through it and i'm getting like to that like craven fight and all yeah. that whatever and he's like no man i gotta go home and play it like, you're gonna ruin the whole thing for me yeah and I then literally i uh get there and he i talked to him like the next day and i was like bro i it was like another 10 hours of gameplay after that <laughs> you know what at I mean? least like, yeah and like, he was just like he's like no way i was like but it feels the no finale idea. right there you know what i mean you think it's building towards something and then there's so much more left yeah. to do and it was so much fun actually with the main story i i do sometimes with the open world games like this mm -hmm. i try to complete all the side missions mm -hmm. because i want that ending with no loose ends open or anything mm -hmm. like that so i was going around doing it and I'm still looking at the map and like the last two rows are locked. And I'm mm -hmm. like, how much more of this game do I need to play to unlock these missions? Right. Then you find out with the whole symbiote thing. Mm -hmm. like, like, I just thought that was cool. And that mm -hmm. was well done. Um, I think there's a lot there because I did it the exact opposite. I just bum rushed the story. No, did and the then, main story? Yeah. Okay. And then I took on everything else afterwards. Yeah. Because I like to be able to just kind of like take my time with that stuff and yeah. like explore the city and do all that. But there's two things that I want to bring up. So as the symbiote stuff happens and you get to play as Venom and one that was cool. That was a lot of fun. And it, it, make, fun. it kind of uh, discredits our earlier conversation where we didn't know if they had the mechanics for Venom when they, no, they had already tested it. They, yeah, did. You know they, I mean? uh, so, they had the mechanics for Venom. Yeah. It, it kind of reminded me of Ultimate Spider-Man, mm -hmm. which until these two games held the top spot for a comic book spider-man video games mm -hmm. for me um because you got to play as venom in that mm -hmm. um but i thought it was it was an interesting take because you don't often see harry used as venom right. i think they did it in spectacular spider-man mm -hmm. i'm sure there's a few instances over time but it's never the main thing that right. harry's always tied into the goblin stuff mm -hmm. um so i thought they did a cool job with the may um or the the um uh, what was harry's mom's name in the game emily uh the emily may foundation yep. i thought that was cool um i thought tying it in because we see harry in a vat in the first mm -hmm. game with the symbiote stuff so you knew it was coming right but just as you play as peter and you get more aggressive and when he finally gets it off and yeah he he's kind of a dick head, right dude he becomes a total a-hole like, yeah most of that game <laughs> even like when you have the symbiote suit and you're you're swinging around and it's all like You'll never commit a crime in my city again. And I was like, Jesus, like, Pete, bro, settle down. chill the fuck out for a second. One of the cool things <laughs> that I did notice, though, while I was playing through the game, before you get, when you have like him and Agent Venom things, uh, when you're playing as Miles, if you'd stop to do like a street crime. And you, you hook up with Harry. Yeah, he would just pop in from yeah. time to time. And I was like, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that at all. So like the fact that you can just, you know, like have characters tap in from here to there. Like, I thought that's that been was very really cool. Yeah, it's been um, super neat. I don't know how much you played post game. I just a hundred percent did yesterday. So like when you do find crimes around the city, mm -hmm. um, if you play as Peter, Miles and Wraith, oh, either Wraith. or okay. can show up. If you play as Miles, only Wraith shows up, and that's due oh, to the ending with Peter kind of right. backing out. Mm -hmm. um, which I will say. Uh, I played most of my time as Peter, and mm -hmm. I did feel like there was a lot more Peter heavy story in this. Mm -hmm. With the announcement that going forward, Miles is going to be the main focus, mm -hmm. um, I started playing with him a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, post game just to kind of get a feel for the character and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that decision?